Hey guys, it's Anikam. It's Jenna G. Welcome back to my channel. So it is that time of year again where eggnog is just on everybody's mind. So of course I had to do a video to show you guys how easy it is I make eggnog. So for our eggnog recipe, you're going to be needing some egg yolks. I'm going to show you guys how I separate the whites from the egg yolks. I'm going to be using some whole milk, some condensed milk, evaporated milk, some vanilla essence. I'm going to be using some nutmeg, some ground cinnamon and a pinch of salt. Not forgetting a little bit of granulated sugar. So just to show you how it is that I separate my egg yolk from the white. Just crack it and I use the two shell, the two half sides to so just throw the yolk back and forth to get that white out. And then we're just going to add the yolk to our bowl. So you can set this aside and you can actually use this to make an egg white omelette or scramble egg whites anything you want but we're not going to waste this all right so the next step now would be to mix this egg beat it until it's nice and thick so i'm going to use a cake mixer or you can use a whisk if you want so while the eggs are beaten i'm going to put up my stove and I'm going to put the evaporated milk and the whole milk in it and I'm also adding my nutmeg and my cinnamon so I'm going to let this heat up and I'm going to add the other ingredients once it's all heated up properly in the meantime we are going to add the sugar and continue beating the eggs for two to three minutes One important part I forgot to mention to you guys is the lime zest that I'm going to be using in the eggs to cut the freshness. So I'm just going to grate some in it. And now that our milk is all nice and hot, what you're going to do is add a little bit to the egg. And this is what you call tempering the egg just so that you would not be eating that raw egg so it basically kills out any sort of bacteria and the reason why you're adding it slowly is because you don't want to get scrambled egg so you basically want the egg to get to the same hot temperature as the milk and once it's to that temperature then you can go ahead and add the rest so while whisking we're just going to continue adding oh it smells so good and to this I'm adding the vanilla essence, I'm adding a pinch of salt and of course the condensed milk. Now the condensed milk you can add as much condensed milk as you want to this. It depends on how sweet you want the uh, eggnog to be. So I'm just going to stir in the condensed milk and you're just going to taste it basically and see if you need to adjust it. So this is basically your eggnog here. So you're going to put it into a bottle, into the fridge and let it cool and we can serve it up with some whipped cream on top. You can sprinkle some of the cinnamon or nutmeg on top of it too for some extra nice presentation. So just to finish it off guys, just to make it look a little nice, you can take some whipped cream. And you can take some cinnamon powder, use one of these, take a spoon, put it on, and just decorate it. Don't want to overpower it though because we would have already added some to the recipe. Check it out, we've got some homemade eggnog. What you can also do too guys is use these cute shot glasses and make yourself some eggnog shots so that is the eggnog video for you guys hope you all enjoyed it give it a try out for so for sure it is so easy 
Just remember the amount of nutmeg and the amount of cinnamon as well as the condensed milk can all be adjusted to your preference. So thanks so much for watching guys and I will see you all in the next video.